So for the second example, this is example two. Uh, we're going to use the pole method again to determine principal stresses and also normal and shear stresses on a given plane. Okay. So for this example, we're given principal stress values actually 50 and uh, 52 and 12. So first we're going to construct the more circle by using these two principal stresses. So this is two points on the Mohr circle. So these are the major and minor principal stresses. So we actually know sigma one is 52. That's the larger of the two. And sigma three is 12. Okay. So the principal stresses actually are provided to you. And then we can construct this more circle. So this sigma one, sigma three. So this should be sigma three. So once you have the more circle, and then for the pole method, again, two steps. So the first step is to locate the pole on this more circle, which involves identifying this known point. Okay. And for this example, again, we have multiple options. I'm going to pick this plane here. Okay. So this plane CD, we know its stresses. So on plane CD, It's a principal plane. So we know the normal stress on this plane is basically that normal stress, 52, principal stress. And the shear stress on this plane is zero. In the orientation for this plane CD, again, horizontal. Okay. And the corresponding point on the more circle, normal stress of 52, that's the X value. and shear stress is zero. So that's the Y value. Okay. So that is this point right here. This is plain CD. So this is again a plane with known stresses and uh, orientation. Okay. The corresponding point is this sigma one, this point B. So that's step one. And then from this point, again, this is plane CD, okay. So from this point with known stresses, you draw a line parallel to that plane. Okay. So we know plane CD is horizontal. So I'm going to draw a horizontal line. Okay. So this is parallel. to plane D, CD. So I start from that point 52.0 and draw a line parallel to the horizontal plane CD. And that intersection gives me the pole. Again, one pole per more circle. For each more circle, you have just one pole. So this is the pole. That's step one. And once you locate the pole, the next step. Okay. So we're going to use this pole here. So that's the pole. Okay. So we're going to use this pole and from this pole, draw a line parallel to the plane of interest. For this example, we are asked to find the normal and the shear stress on plane AE. Okay. So this is plane AE. We want to find the normal and shear stress on this plane. Okay. So that's our plane of interest. It's 35 degrees from horizontal direction. So I'm going to draw a line starting from the more, uh, the pole. So that's 35 degrees from horizontal. So this line is parallel to plane A. So this is that parallel line from the pole and it's going to intersect with the Mohr circle again. So that intersection 
gives the stresses on that plane A. That's how you find this normal and shear stresses on plane AE using the pole method. And the values again are read directly from the curve, from this graph. So normal stress is about 40. And shear stress is about 19. That's the Y value. In shear stress is y axis value. Okay. Of that point. So that's example two, again for pole method. Uh, this is a graphical method to determine normal and shear stresses. And for example, for this example two, you can also use these two equations that normal and shear stress equations to find these values rather than using this pole method. So either way, they will end up with approximately the same values. Okay. 